Happy November. It has been the craziest week. We are so excited to get the Halloween decorations put away and to do a much needed deep clean of the home. I am also making apple hand pies for the kids today, along with lunch, feeding my sourdough start, and we woke up to a very special surprise. As always, welcome to the Country Castle. This week for us was full of highs and lows and a lot of lows. So I am very much needing this home to be clean and decluttered. I always find that when I'm overwhelmed or I feel um, stressed or emotionally drained that having a clean home just sets my mind right. It brings a better spirit and flow into our home. This was a much needed day. In life, we have these times where we just feel like there's so many things out of our control, but keeping things simple in my home and making it beautiful and creating the energy that we want here is something that I can control and it just helps us go through the hard things without the extra chaos. I know I'm not alone in this, but I'm so glad that the candy is over and that I no longer have to find sucker sticks and garbage throughout my house. Today I'm going to feed my sourdough starts and get them ready. I have a lot of baking that I'm going to be doing next week and I want to make sure I have nice healthy bubbly starts. This is my method that I use. I don't really do exact measurements. I just add some flour and some water until I get a thick pancake batter consistency. Um, but I will have a step-by-step -step on how to make your own sourdough start and how to maintain it on my blog. So always check there for new recipes. I know sourdough has become more and more popular over the last couple of years and I love using mine. I have my very favorite recipes that I will always be bringing here to my channel and to my blog. I hope you try it. It is really a fun thing to involve in your baking. As I mentioned before, it has been a very busy, intense week for our family. My husband, about a week ago, went down with a medical emergency and he is now recovering. He was able to have surgery. He is like the healthiest guy. So for him to go down was just such a shock for our family, but he's gonna be okay. He's in quick recovery. And we're just so grateful that he's back to himself and feeling good again. Before I make the hand pies, I'm putting together a quick lunch. This is something I love to do because it comes together really fast. It's just some air fried chicken that you get from Costco, put in a tortilla with some cheese and barbecue sauce. You roll it up and you have a chicken barbecue wrap that everybody loves.
there's a couple different ways you can do these hand pies. You can do a pre-made crust or you can make your own. I am obviously making my own today, but you know how much I love a pre-made crust when it just, you want to simplify things. So you can definitely go that route as well. I'm going to refrigerate mine and then work on my filling. For my filling, I am using apples that we already cut up and put in the freezer. I just add some flour and sugar to mine, but I have another method on my blog where you just use fresh apples and cut them up and cook them with some butter. So check that out if you're going to do this recipe. I don't think there's anything more special and adorable as your own mini pie. So I'm definitely making these more often. Sometimes we forget about these simple recipes and I'm glad that I remembered this one and brought it back today. Sophie's hair is getting so long, so I always have to tie it back, and it is so great to do it in her high chair where she is sitting still. It does my heart and all of our hearts so good to see Jack up and healthy and happy again. As moms, we wear so many hats, but the hat I love to wear the most is the one where I'm home, baking for my family, putting babies down for naps, helping kids with reading and their homework, hanging out with my teenagers. That's the hat I love to wear. Everyone eating their own warm apple hand pie was the most perfect activity that we did on this chilly fall day and enjoying the beautiful colors of our fall trees because this morning we woke up to snow. The magic of every season is never lost on me.